Everybody, I'm your host Lolo, uh, host of Sankofa Podcast, and uh, as you know me, I'm a cultural enthusiast and explorer. I, I learn about all our different cultures, and I am of the opinion that we should actually know each other better and deeper, and on deeper levels. That's why uh, I'm doing these kind of things to teach my generation about the other people's cultures and so on. I'm a proud. Damara man, but I'm very much interested in all the other cultures as, as, as I want you to be. So today I came across this store that's, that's selling Ovambo food and I found it very interesting and I said to myself, I must have a chat with this young woman that is having this stall here. Uh, Madam, for my viewers, please introduce yourself first and then you tell me all about this Ovambo food. I want the Damaras and the Namas and the Hereros and the Chuanas and the Colored bastards out there to 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 understand, know and understand of humble food, you know. And uh, as we do with all the other cultures, please just give us your name and then where you're from. My name is Angela Munume. I'm from Mandangwa. I came all the way from Mandangwa to sell traditional food in Expo in many Expo Soko. Wow. Okay. So yeah, this is the Soko Moon Mini Expo, and uh, it started on Tuesday. Today is. Uh, Thursday the 28th so and it's gonna run until Sunday ne? yeah great stuff okay now without much time wasting I want to know what is this and how I'll, I'll, I'll ask you a few questions as to how it's prepared and so on okay can we start here what's that what's the next one what 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 are we having here this is a uh, mahangu flower it's for making a shifima pop in English this one is ingredient for for shikundu, so if you are making a shikundu, you need this too. You need this too. You only need this. Here we have embe. We call it mui in your language. This, yeah. This is omaungu. These are dates. Actually, they are not our traditional food, but these are the same. These are also wen, omaungu. Okay, okay, just a moment, just a moment. Don't run so fast on me, please. Uh, this one, this one, I want to, I want to take a step back here. Uh, what is this? How is it prepared? Oh, this is omaungu, mopani wem. First, you, you need to boil water. You put it in water, at least to, to soak it, to make it soft for you, right? And to clean it. And then when you clean it, you wash it, you, you put it in, in a pot, put water, it depends. You can put tomatoes, onions, spice, any spice you want, but if you want, you can fry it. Okay, okay. I know, I understand, ne? I understand the Mopani worms is actually shared between the bamboos and the damaras. I understand it's also a damara cultural thing, although many people don't know about that. Do, did you know that? I know. Okay. Now, tell me, are these now, like, already cooked? I want to taste some. These are not cooked, but I have the cooked one. You can taste. Great stuff, great stuff. Now, before we proceed, can I quickly have a taste of the cooked uh, uh, Mopani worm, please? This will be my first time to taste this, actually. So I can just like eat it just like that. Mm. My first day ever to taste the oh, uh, uh, Mopani worm. Mopani worm. Mm. It's actually delicious. Let me let me just try to think uh, what it tastes like. Mm. Okay, I can't I can't I can't I can't find something that uh, tastes like this. But I actually like it. This is nice. This is this is this is nice. Okay, what's that? This is our traditional spinach. We call it ombora in our language. So we also cook it almost the same as this, 
you 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 put it in water but not hot water just normal water and then you start cooking you can also eat with this after cooking after you finish cooking you, you serve you just put this on top it's very nice so this oil is amarola oil is from those omaho this is the, the white stuff it's very nice and healthy okay okay uh yeah, before we proceed, ne, tell me, <coughs> sorry, what is the difference between uh, these foods, traditional foods, and store bought like the, the the food that's in the, the in the in the shops that is like processed, and uh, compared to this food that's more organic, what is the difference in the, um, or, or what what is the difference generally? In general, our traditional food is they are healthy. And they have a lot of proteins because they are not processed like the others in the shop. that are mixed with a lot of other things. Absolutely. No, I couldn't agree with you more. That's, that's the whole truth. And, you know, I'm actually an advocate for traditional food, traditional medicine. I want us to go back to our roots, you know. And, uh, and it's also for me to know your culture and for you to know my culture so that we can better understand and appreciate each other, you know. So I, I really agree with you when you say this is more nutritious and it's more organic, it's, it's, it's more healthy. In the shops, you don't know what you're eating. You know, you don't know how it was brought. Food, mm, you don't know. <laughs> okay, we have nuts here, roasted nuts. We put salt in them. They are very tasty. Maybe you want to taste. You can. Okay, Let me taste everything I can. I, I, I'm happy to taste everything I can here. They are really nice. You can taste. Just like that. Okay, no, this one. This one's I know. This one's I know. Nuts I know. But they are really tasty. And we have this. We just, we just, we just mix this with the raisins. Okay. But they are Okay, so these are basically the nuts that you, similar to the ones that you find in the shop, that's mixed with raisins, and you mix them here. Yes, yes. And we have mitete, but this one is for Kabaho people, but we also have it in our culture, we have it in our room. This one is a little bit uh, sour compared to this. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, let's proceed with that. I call it, I don't know if it's jackal berry, but we call it enyangi in our culture. They are very sweet. You just remove the, the yellow stuff, and then you eat the inside to find. Then the seeds, the seeds inside, the seeds, you just put them, put them out. Yeah. Yes, they will just come out. So we've actually got delicacies, ne? We've got we've got food that can make you full. We've got food that you can be uh, eating as a snack. So all the different foods are there. Yeah, we have everything here. This is very nice. Th what did you say? This is enyanti. <laughs> enyanti, enyanti, very nice. I want to tell all my. Tamara and Chwana and Herero friends that do not know this food. There's some lacquer stuff here that, that, that the bamboos are enjoying, that we, which we don't know. I know that we've got our own delicacies and our own stuff as well, but this is worth a try, guys. This is very nice. This is a reasonable. We are here. We are ready to sell it. Uh, most of them are just $20, $10, $50. Yeah, oil. From this, they are from the sea, and they are from this for the hair, it makes the hair grow. Yeah, and that's why bamboo ladies are having long hair, ne? they like this hair. And they know, I mean, they know the Tamara woman, yeah. they buy that well. Ah, okay, interesting. Yeah. 
How much is that cup? Eighty dollars. Okay, okay, that's a nice, that's a nice. One. Uh, we call them Omahanja. So they we also have them. Yes, they do. And this, this I don't know what they are called, but they are bad. Um, 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 burungang. Those those insects that make noise in the night. Aha, those insects that make noise in the night, especially on the farm, eh? I've never been to the farm, yeah. But I think so. Okay. Naira, Omaka, we get them from trees. So some are saying they are coming from Omkoro or Nandoman. So, and we have these sweet things there. Wutushi, we call them Wutushi. Yeah, Let me trace everything I can. I don't mind. Yeah. But I, no, is it not something that you're gonna sell? How can I put my hand there now? Okay. No, just give me. Yeah. Okay. Not not too much. Not too much. There's still a lot that I need to trace. Mm. What did you say that is? Utushi. Utushi. Wow. This is nice. So instead of eating these chips that we don't know and everything, there are snakes here. We've got our own snakes, actually. And the Haira, eh? that one, that one belongs to us all. Haira, very nice. This one, very nice. We just uh, put it in water to prepare that. Yeah, I don't know because they are dry. Normally when you, when you collect them, they are soft. But when they get dry, they are hard. hard. Yeah, no, it's true. Okay, uh, what did we not talk about this? So we call them Engeshu, but they can mean that they are same, but I don't remember. We dig them from the ground. They are very Let me trace. Okay, okay, okay. So I just uh, chew and swallow them. Yes, it is. Mm. Oh, so this one is also sweet. Mm. And what did you say? What did you say the name is? Engeshu. Engeshu. Okay, guys, I want to tell you, in the bamboo food, I know, I know that this is uh, just a portion of this. There's a lot more that's not here, you know. But uh, I, I can tell you guys, there are some tasty stuff here. Guys, on that note, I just wanted to... I give you this short one. This is something beautiful, and we need to support people that are selling cultural food, cultural items, uh, clothing items, cultural and traditional medicine. We need to come on board with our own stuff. We are too much in the support um, of foreign stuff and stuff that we don't know about. Uh, but uh, when you eat this, you know exactly what you're eating. So. On that note, thank you so much for viewing this little insert here. And uh, Madam, any last word that you want to say to all my non ovambo friends out there? Oh, my non ovambo friends, I just want to tell you that as bamboos, we have a lot of traditional food. We have a lot of food. Even if hunger comes in Namibia, we are not going to die. We are going to survive. Great. <laughs> Great stuff. Thank you so much. And thank you so much, Madam. See you at the next, next round.